What's up everybody? I have kind of an interesting topic today and this time it's 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 out of necessity is why I'm making this video and I might accidentally roast some kiddos but it kind of needs to be said it is sc about scheduling scrims and this is a huge issue um, the amount of scrims cancelled and I actually keep track of them as a meme on my profile here Times cancelled on this new year so far. I've been cancelled on 21 times in the year of 2017 and it is, we are, you know, one and a half months in and I've been cancelled on 21 times and countless times. I'm, you know, obviously at some point it's probably the people I schedule scrims with. Um, I do try to get new scrim partners all the time. You know, I keep adding people all the time. But it's a reoccurring theme. I only have probably three people that Every single scrim partner has canceled on me. Every single one of them, except one. And, you know, that was, like, a steel team, which we don't scrim anymore because they're, you know, obviously in steel. But that was the one team that never canceled the scrim on us. There's only a couple people that are always fairly consistent. They rarely cancel. All, all the other times, they all, like, people always cancel. And it's really frustrating to have to find a last-minute scrim almost, you know, a, a lot of times. Way too many times. And um, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to walk you through how to schedule a scrim. This is my process. You may have something, but you may also be the type of guy to cancel on a scrim every, every week. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to schedule a scrim right now. So our next scrim day is going to be Sunday. Oh, also, before you go to schedule scrims, what I have um, done is learn your team's schedule. Learn every single player's like regular schedule what their um, like availabilities are during the week at night um, so our scrims our scrim availability is Sunday Monday Tuesday and Thursday but we only scrim probably two days a week but those are the days we are available those are the days that my players are available some team leaders don't even know when their players are available and you know every once in a while a long time ago mostly I would ask a guy for a scrim and he's like yeah just let me check with my team and that's understandable, but as you know, people have regular schedules. And let's say they have basketball practice Tuesday, Thursday. You know not to schedule basket. You know you know not to schedule scrims during that time, obviously. So you already have that in mind, so you don't have to go ask them every single time. And this just makes the scrim scrim scheduling process much quicker, and it. It just, um, it gives, yeah, it gives the person that asks you an answer back much faster. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to, I like to get scrims scheduled right there. If they have to get back to me within a few hours, that's fine. I always keep track of it. So, I'm going to schedule a scrim for Sunday. Um, I want to schedule a scrim with Nordic's team, let's say. Nordic. This, these people have only baited me, I think, once. Has, yeah, other than that, they're really good about scheduling, you know. he's Nordic is really good about keeping track of scrims and... He really, you know, he beats on his players when they don't show up, you know what I mean? Like, he cares about this stuff as I do, and that's why I usually get consistent scrims out of Nordic here. So I'm going to ask him, wanna scrim Sunday 9 EST? Okay. And then I send him that message. I go to my group page. And here is where I just keep track of my... Um, scrims. I, like, the team usually doesn't come here. I usually tell the team. I'll tell you about my announcement system later. But I go to schedule an event. I have asked Nordic for a scrim. So scrim v Nordic. Uh, it shows here that I have, in fact, asked Nordic for a scrim, but I do not have an answer back yet. And that is what the question mark is for. Sunday, 90ST v Nordic. And, um... I'm going to obviously put in the date here, Sunday, 9 EST, that's 8 my time. <clears throat> and this is kind of my system, so create event. And here, I have, I know that I have a scrim scheduled at this time, so that I do not double schedule by accident. And when he answers back, I will take off that question mark, and we have a confirmed scrim right there. Scrim v Nordic will happen Sunday, 9 Eastern. <clears throat> and um, another thing, how I tell my teammates about it. So I have this scrim. I'm sure that Nordic will get back to me probably tonight or sometime this afternoon. Um, when he does, I'm going to take off the question mark. And since, you know, we still have a few days till it's Sunday, 
I'll usually tell my team, you know, two days before or a day before that we have a scrim these times. Here's what I do. I'm going to tell my boy Rye Guy here, you will be in a video. I am sending you messages as example. So, um, I'm going to tell him like, here's what I do, announcement, scrim Sunday, 9 EST. I will say that a couple days or a day before, if it's the day before I say, you know, scrim tomorrow 9 Eastern, right? So I say that. And I usually give two announcement messages per like week for a scrim. Like for this scrim, I would send one probably either Friday or Saturday saying this. We have a scrim this time. And on the day of, I would say announcement scrim tonight, 90 SC. And then they would know like, okay. And I have players on my team with horrific memory. Wonder Bread, I like to roast this kid. I told him 15 minutes before, I was like, scrim in 15 minutes. And he's like, okay, thanks for letting me know. I'd have probably forgot. Which is really bad because I sent him this message during, like, sometime during that day and yesterday. People have terrible memories. So you have to know your teammates, know that they have terrible memory, and work off of that. And the, the worst part is, um, um, <clears throat> I, it was scrim time, it was two minutes past, you know, not a big deal, two minutes past, I was like, scrim right now, just so you know, <laughs> like, and he's like, oh, thanks, wow, I was just about to go do something, I almost forgot, oh my goodness, you know, you, like, I told him literally 15 minutes before that we have a scrim, he acknowledged me too, and he just completely forgot within that time period, so you have to be on your teammates if you know that they have a history of having a terrible memory and that's kind of what I do guys uh, that's what I do so that I do not double schedule um, if you have another thing that works for you and it works keep doing it but if you find that you cancel scrims all of the time and you just have no idea what your teammates schedules are like you need to learn that stuff probably the worst team I'm just gonna call them out here is possessed and destructive they cannot keep a scrim to save their life they need to watch this video. Uh, you know, they're they're fairly nice people, but the amount of scrims that I think we've probably got canceled on them more than we've actually gotten to scrim them. Which is just pathetic, it really is. But anyway, that's what I do. Um, like I said, when he responds, I'm gonna take off this question mark. We have a confirmed scrim. You know what I mean? So that's what I do, and I do this, I'm going to also probably schedule a scrim, unless Nordic wants to do a full hour. I would schedule one for 9.30 and I would just do the exact same thing. And it's very simple, common sense, but you know what? The TF2 community does not have common sense and this just had to be said. So this was kind of a rant video. Thanks for watching. If you cancel scrims all the time, shame on you. You should uh, adopt a new way of keeping track of these things. So thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, let me know. And just for the record, over my year and a half of playing competitive TF2, I have unfortunately had to cancel two scrims, but they were because three teammates just like were not online. Um, you know, I told them they said they would be online, but internet issues arise. So yes, I am not. I do not have the perfect track record, but I have a near perfect track record of only canceling two scrims within a year and a half. And so that, I'd say that's pretty good, only based upon necessity too. Like these players did not have in working internet at the time. And at that point, it's not worth scrimming with like three ringers. If it was one person, obviously I would get a ringer. If it was two people, and I really didn't want to cancel, I would get two ringers just so I would not cancel on these people because you got to think about their perspective too. You know, like they need a scrim and you would be canceling on them. You would be screwing them over at that time. And I've been in that situation so many times. I don't want to do that anymore. So there it is. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.